Oh, that scared me. Okay. What? Trickster. Whoa. Come to my velvet room. His voice changed a lot. So you've come to, inmate. The you in reality is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight. <laughs> Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Igor? This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. <laughs> Let me out! Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. Oh. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Mm. I speak of the end to everything. Great. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Do you have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world? Wait, what? Uh, to challenge, I'd rather avoid ruin? Wait, yeah, what? You didn't decline, hmm. Very well, that is enough. What? Allow me to observe the path of your rehabilitation. Oh boy. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like! The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. Elizabeth? That is, if you remain obedient. Oh, okay. I shall okay. explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. and go back to sleep. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I had a strange dream. Ruin, rehabil uh, rehabilitation. What does it mean? Hey. Looks like you're up. Well... Well then, let's go introduce ourselves properly to the staff about your transfer. The school you're attending is in the Aoya, Aoya, Aoyama district. I know Japanese! <laughs> ah! Uh, it'll cost you a bit to ride the train there and the road transfers are a pain. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Jeez. Ish. Men aren't usually allowed in my passenger seat. 
So he's still a bachelor? Do me a favor and behave yourself, all right? Don't get me wrong. I don't care what happens to you. Damn. Just don't cause me any trouble. Yeah, yeah. Wow, the vibe is so different from the other two games. To reiterate, just so we're clear. Oh my god. I will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. Yes. Honestly, I hesitated on accepting someone like you. But there were some circumstances on our side. You might have done a variety of things in hiding in your hometown, but you will behave yourself here. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. You might want to reword that too. I won't do it. I won't protect you at all. Not, not able to. I just won't do it. That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Wow, that name. Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. Yep. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. Damn! It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Don't let him cause any trouble outside. Well, I'll be sure to have a serious talk about the situation he's in. <sighs> Come to the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you to your classroom. <sighs> They're treating you like some kind of nuisance. I guess that's what it means to have a criminal record. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. By the way, if you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? I think that's great. Yeah, I'll be careful. Uh, uh, school never changes, huh? Hey. Come on, we're going home. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. What? I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. Be careful, okay? Then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. We'll have to work hard to make up for the track team, too. Yes, that's true. Why'd it have to be my class? <laughs> I'll be a good boy. Oh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. Okay. So, how was it? The school, I mean. Think you can manage? Eh, we'll see. Mm. <laughs> now listen up. Don't even think of doing anything stupid. Still, you were expelled once already. <laughs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. If that's what it was like at school, people might say stuff about me in the future, too. What a troublesome kid I've taken in. Why did you take me in? I was asked to do it, and I just... 
happened to agree to it. Were you drinking? Uh, I've already been paid for it, too. You drank it. It was a drinking game. I'll take the kid. What, he's a criminal record? Fuck it. Again, a subway has derailed at Shibuya Station, greatly affecting the timetable all across the... Oh, great. Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. to the police, the engineer's life was not in danger despite his injuries. After questioning, even he could not explain his high speed when approaching the station. No further comments were made. Police are still looking for a plausible motive. It's less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, concern is spreading among the general public. Just what could be causing such a drastic change so suddenly in these people? SNN has Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? Hmm. Oh well. Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. I must be going. I was I was ready to go for this meeting, and that's when this extremely fast train just came crashing in. Oh man, I thought I was gonna die. A noisy subway platform filled with people was suddenly. Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? <laughs> making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Huh. <laughs> Damn, to think there'd be that much traffic. What a waste of time. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. Well... Whatever. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give it to you. Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. It's a diary. Make sure you write in it. Oh? You may be under probation, but there's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Besides following the law, that is. However, I'm obligated to report on you, which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Uh huh? I'll see you soon. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. Damn. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? Can I not take a candy bar or a cup of coffee? No? All right. All right. And, uh, okay. I should do as I'm told for now. Should 
Sure, write down what happened today in my journal. The diary. Journal diary. You can save your game by pressing the options button. When you see the but uh, button command on the lower left, you can save at any time. Have an early day tomorrow. I should rest up. Save is which side? Right side? I should write something. Yeah, I'll write something. Alright. Go to sleep. Mm, wait a minute. Yup. Yup. Coming, coming. Coming, coming, coming. Come on, come on, alien. Yo, it's me. Uh, who is this? Sheesh, you already forgot my voice already is Sakura. Uh, I closed up the shop, but I forgot to flip the sign closed. It's too much of a hassle for me to go back, so you flip the sign for me. I don't feel like it. You called a public phone? Alright. Well, I'm sure no one's gonna come, even if this is open. Thank goodness I was able to reach you. Sorry, I make it a habit not to save guys' phones on my cell phone. Anyway, I'm glad you answered the phone over on the shop. Okay, I'm leaving you in charge with the door sign. Do I have to go outside? Yes, I do. How do I change? Oh, okay. Obey your instructions. Okay. It's a nice place, though. Nothing new? Is there anything else I need to do? No. Not really. Uh, not that I could think of. <sighs> I need to take the train to school. I'm sleeping myself. Yongen Jaya Aoyama Ichome. Transfer. It looks like I need to go to Shibuya and then transfer there. Maybe more, new more news about that subway accident. Sounds like a lot of people were hurt. But this will affect the timetables for tomorrow, too. That strange app I saw last night is back. You keep showing up. Time to. Uh, I thought I'd do yeah. Should probably reboot my phone just in case. And format it. And burn the hard. hard. chip. chip? Nope. Stick? Memory, mem memory drive? Oh my god, I'm just... The, the SD card, that's what I'm talking about. My eyelids are starting to get heavy. 